Let's see how to tile multiple scan maps which are synchronized among themselves. Maps are synchronized in the sense that they are pixel aligned, so that information at a certain pixel position of a map is aligned with all other maps. These maps may have been scanned in a 3D scanner or assembled for multiple photos. And in this tutorial, we'll see how to make them seamlessly tileable. So we'll start by creating new maps. And to do this, we uh, shift click new. We'll assume a size of 2048 by 2048 and we'll be using all maps except the ambient occlusion map. Um, the metallic map will always be set to zero as all these materials that we'll be seeing are dielectric. To tile multiple synchronized maps, we'll use the tiling scene tool. To open the seed images that we'll use, we could uh, just select Open for Multi-Generate, which will set up the multi-generate part of uh, Tiling Synth, which is this part here at the bottom. Or, even simpler, we can just select all the maps that we want to use as seed images and drag and drop them into the Tiling Synth seed image viewer. We'll have to confirm the types of the open maps. They look OK. And the multi-generate section at the bottom is now enabled and uh, the synchronized maps are base color, roughness, displacement and normal, which are exactly the maps that we have uh, opened. So roughness, displacement and normal. And these are the seed images that we'll use. We'll be generating from the base color editor and uh, let's click uh, multi-generate straight away. And it's uh, tiling well horizontally, but we have problems here at the bottom. If I press Ctrl and uh, drag with the left mouse button, we can offset all the maps at the same time. And you can see that uh, we have problems here. We could try to generate again, but this seems like a pattern problem. And to fix this, we'll click Select Pattern. And to see it better, let's align the, the pattern that uh, Pixplan found with uh, one, one of the bricks. And um, you can see that the lines start to be uh, misaligned. The top of the brick is not aligned with, uh, with the grid. So let's fix it. Okay, it's now better. And let's try generating with this pattern. Okay, and uh, it now looks like a good result. We still have problems here. And we'll fix them later. But it seems to have uh, generated. Roughness map, displacement map normal map. But we have problems here. So we just select the this part which has problems and we click multi-generate. Okay, get back to the tiling scene tool. We select the part with the problems and we generate again. Okay, it's now looking good. Let's delight a bit to get rid of the shadows. And let's see another example. Let's first create the new maps. Shift click new, select all, but uh, ambient occlusion, create, no need for saving, and open again tiling scene. So Let's next see the tiling of a carpet uh, scanning. I'll just drag and drop into the see the image viewer. Okay. Our seed image is opened. And let's generate. This is quite a hard texture to tile, as there is no pattern. And uh, although in one hand it has some 
prominent features like these blue threads which um, tile horizontally but on the other hand it's all quite chaotic let's multi-generate a few more times and the results are mostly the same an important thing is that uh, tiling is performed with respect to a master seed image. It's always done with respect to the map editor that you are using. And the other maps simply follow whatever is done on this master map type where we are generating from. This means that uh, you should always uh, generate from the map with, uh, with the most information, uh, which tends to be the base color map. To see uh, why this is so, uh, let's try generate from uh, a map with much, much less information like the normal map. You can see that, of course, it doesn't have the color information. And what happens if we multi-generate from here? In this case, we're using normal and uh, this seed image as the master from which all other maps are generated. And look what happened. The base color is now much more chaotic. The blue threads are no longer uh, tiling horizontally. And uh, this is because we simply don't have that information in a normal map. And this is why you should always uh, try generating from the map with, with the most information. And in this case, it's base color map. Okay, let's now see another um, another example. So we'll just click Shift New, New Maps. No need for saving the previous one. And the next example we'll see is um, some sand and footprints. Okay, so the seed images are now opened. You can see that there's not much color information in the base color map. Roughness map is also quite uh, homogeneous. But displacement, in this case, displacement seems to be the map with the most information. Normal uh, also doesn't have much information. So we'll want to generate from the displacement editor in this case. And all the maps were generated from the, the displacement map. What if we wanted to get rid of uh, this duplication of this hole? We could do this by uh, just selecting the hole and then coming to the seed image and out selecting the, the hole there and we generate again and the hole is gone and so this is how we generate a seamless version of uh, synchronized maps with Pixplant